The night before the Caldecott Awards were announced, I happened to watch this video of Mr. Sharp's classroom announcing their mock Caldecott. I happened to watch it six times in a row. I love it so. The, the vote goes to... <laughs> Finding Winnie. Yeah! I had tried so hard to banish all thought of the Caldecott far from my head, but I kept thinking of those kids jumping up and down and it gave me this atom of hope that maybe somewhere in a secret room in Boston, librarians were also jumping up and down. And as the night wore on, that atom of hope turned into a bear-sized hope, try as I might to ignore it. But as the night turned into a pink dawn, my phone had not rung and I glared at it for a little bit and then I got up and got on with my day and I had a shower and I made my son's school lunch and I was standing in the kitchen with Ed and I turned to him and said, you know what, we are so incredibly lucky and I can't believe I get to make books for a living and books that make some kids jump up and down and I feel so fortunate and it was right at that moment that the phone rang. The rest is a blur of a joy and some small amount of weeping and I was so happy to be able to share the morning with my second family in the studio. Johnny Marciano, Eddie Hemingway, Brian Floca, and Sergio Ruzia, who was in Milan, but with us in spirit. Thank you so much to the Caldecott Committee for choosing Finding Winnie. I can't imagine the process was an easy one, given the extraordinary books published in 2015, but I can imagine that the process was carried out with patience and attention to detail and open-mindedness and generosity of spirit. I am so in awe of the work you do and incredibly honoured that you chose Finding Winnie for the 2016 Caldecott Medal. Thank you.